Well, Romain, six years ago when you left this football club, did you ever think the day would come when you'd be back here as a player? Um, in the grand scheme of things, probably not. But it's always been something that I've always wanted. Um, as a young boy, I always wanted to play for every age group at the club. And I did it in that 14 year spell up until the first team. And it's always something that's bugged me. So that opportunity presented itself, I had to take it. Phil, unfinished business is yeah. the right term to use. Most definitely. I think for me and the club, obviously missing out on the promotion last year, it's a big thing that they want to get back into the big time. They established themselves as a Premier League team over the last about 10 years maybe. And it's, they're due to be back there and it's just good that it coincides with where I want to be. What's your feeling sitting here, Romain? It's obviously six years since you've yeah. since you left the club. You've obviously been back here with Brentford, but sitting here now yeah. as a West Bromwich Albion player, how much does that mean to you? A lot. It didn't hit me until last week when I like walked around the stadium and stuff. Like I've been here as a ball boy, I've been here as a fan, as an academy player, I've played reserve games, but now being the the marquee of the club, being in the first team, it's like, it's a different feeling. Does it feel right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. When you came down to the training ground on Friday night, you said to us that it hasn't really it hasn't really hit home yet yeah. what it means to be back. And although you were there, it, you're kind of in your own little world, don't you? Mm. We hadn't really taken in what was happening. Yeah. Have you had a chance to settle yeah. and settle your mind? And now, now it definitely has. Like I'm actually back and like back home. It's not a term that I would just use lightly. Like it feels like home because I said obviously yeah, from a young young age, and it's good to be back. How big an attraction was that for you, Romain, coming back here to be home at the club that you've played for all through the academy, you've yeah. supported as a young boy? How much does it mean to you? Massive, massive. There's no other team that means this much to me. Um, I think everybody that knows me personally is aware of that. Everyone that I've grew up with or now hearing it will understand the same and just have to do it on the green now. Because you left in 2013, was it difficult to leave this football club and and how much do you feel as though you have to prove now coming back? Yeah, very emotional. Like the first pre-season I knew I wasn't coming back here, it was like, wow. And then it was a case of either work hard or soak on the morals. Um, I had to work hard, dust off. And then now being back, it's like, yeah, I've got a point to prove, of course, but it's no point. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, because it's West Brom, it's a bigger point. I'm still a professional athlete at the end of the day. Whether I signed for here or somebody else, it just probably means more if there's success behind it when it's at home. You obviously signed your contract Friday night, Saturday morning, that yeah. kind of time scale. But your first contract that you signed at West Bromwich Albion was way back in 2000. Yeah. I don't know if you can remember it, Romain. Yeah. Or, but just tell us a little bit about what you, your favourite memories of being in the academy were. Um, at 12, I got to sign a contract on the pitch. Um, at the time, it was a big thing for me and my family. Um, Obviously, growing up with, with the boys, I've got friends that I've got for life now that I've met in football through West Brom Academy. I think it just goes to the extent of they've grown me as a man as well as a player. Like All my morals and work ethics and normal human ethics have come from the academy. Obviously, I've got my family that have the foundations, but you learn a lot more away from your family. And I think the West Brom family and bracket of the academy, like it's very good and productive and they do really treat you like a nice human being and I think it shows if you see the people that have, have left, whether they've gone into other sports, other industries, it, we're all similar type of people. So you'd say that your time at West Bromwich Albion was, was certainly a happy one? Uh, no doubt, I owe them everything that I've ever achieved in football especially. Uh, and I, I suppose you saying that remain about owing this football club everything, it makes you even more determined to, when the season starts here, to hit the ground running and really repay the faith that the club has shown to bring you back here? Yeah, I think the biggest indication will be promotion. It's not just in my hands, but I'll try and push myself and people around me as much as I can. Um, everybody wants to play in the Premier League. I've got an extra incentive that it's taking West Brom to the Premier League. You see it like, for instance, Grealish last year, you could see how much it meant for him to take Villa to the Premier League. And I think I'll have a similar situation if we do do it. Of course, the fans here at the Hawthorns, as we sit here now interviewing you, They'll be here throughout the season watching you play. It's a place that you've not really been back to yeah. too often, is it, since you left the club in 2013? I think only twice you said to, yeah. to watch a game. How does it feel to be sitting here again, Romain? I don't think that part's sunk in yet. 
I think the first home game of the season when I'm walking out, hopefully playing or whether I'm on the bench or whatnot, that's when it'll really resonate. Um, the stadium's obviously not full since I've been back. Um, but I was speaking to Luke and he said they've sold more season tickets and stuff. So it's a season to be optimistic and it's good to be a part of it. Can you imagine what that feeling's going to be like? Nah. I wouldn't even try and describe it after, so I'm not going to try now. One player who's still here, that was here when you were here as a player, Chris Brunt. Did Legend. you ever clean his boots? Uh, I was on Jonathan Greenan. Um, he congratulated me when I moved back as well, which meant a lot, because obviously as a young boy, we grow up to be aspiring to these players. And people like Brunty, like, he doesn't know how big of a fan I am of his, especially growing up playing in similar position like what he used to do, whether it was training or games, is just unbelievable. I'm an actual West Brom fan of Bruni. Like I can talk like West Brom fans can, but I won't tell him that. Like, I'm, not, I'm not about to do that. <laughs> Has he had many conversations with you since you've rejoined? Yeah, he, he's probably one of the first to come and make me feel welcome. I think with the natural relationship of us knowing each other from previously, when we played against each other, he was speaking fond of me, we had conversations. I told him then how much like it was good to see him playing, good to see him back where we belonged, like in terms of in a starting eleven after the timeout, being captain. I just think you've just got to have respect for certain people. And Chris Brunt at this club is one of them. Of course, Chris Brunt is a man who you'll be challenging this season yeah. to, to get in the team ahead of. Your game has changed, hasn't it, Romain, since you left here yeah. in 2013. You're more of a, an attacking midfielder, a number 10, could play yeah. out wide as well, maybe as, even as a number 9. But since then, you, your game has become a bit more mature and you're more of a, an all-rounded midfielder. Would you agree? Yeah, I'm getting slower. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, definitely. Um, I think mentally I still sometimes think I'm a number 10 still. But like you said, maturing into the game and finding my feet and what works for me as well as the people around me. Um, I'm very much a team player. Probably as an individual, a 10, I'd want to play there, but for my strengths and for the team, it would be deeper back. And it's like you said, people like Brent are going to try and keep me out of the team and I've got to do the same. But in the end of the day, we all want the same thing. Slavan Bilic was a key factor in bringing you back to the football club, Romain. Have you had yeah. many chats with him yet? And how, how much confidence does that give you knowing that the new manager that's come in he is the man that wanted you here and he's the man who's got you here. That, that was a big thing for me because a lot of people would see it as it's a signing to get fans back on their sides or it was an easy one because I've been here before and stuff. But when I spoke to the, the boss, he, he reiterated how much he wanted me as a personal and that was massive because uh, the fans won't pick the team. The academy staff won't pick the team. Me being here won't get me in the team. I've got to impress the manager at the end of the day. And to hear that he's a fan of my abilities and he trusts in my abilities is a good reassurance. 19 years ago, you joined this football club, Remain, and on Saturday, you might get the chance yeah. to make your debut. What, how, how, what feeling does that give you? How just, special a moment would just that Just you saying it like gives me goosebumps. It's crazy. To think that I was here as a seven-year-old, I remember it like it was yesterday, playing against them, um, signing the first contract with my mum and stuff. And I can't, I can't put it into words. I really can't. But I'm an athlete. I'm here to do a job. Um, like I said, it does maybe mean a little bit more because of how much a club means to me. But we just need to get on with it. Will you have family there at the City Ground yeah, on Saturday? Yeah. There'll be family there at most games now, especially home <laughs> games. Home games, I think Jill's really going to have to distribute some tickets out, um, away games, the local ones for sure, but yeah. I was going to say your phone must have been red hot this weekend. Yeah, my mum's told me to change my number to be fair <laughs> since coming back because the demand of tickets now that I'm back home and stuff, but it was all in, in good messages and goodwill, which is a good thing. It just makes me more determined that it's, it's bigger than just me. This, this isn't just about me, it's about like, my family, me being a Birmingham boy, but me being a West Brom boy, it means a lot to me, to the fans and everyone around me. So it's all coming together at a great time and age for me in my career. So I've seen an emotional time remain, obviously yeah. just signing back here, but when you take the emotion out of it, you've signed a, a three-year deal here with another year's option. What are your hopes for being a West Bromwich Albion player? What do you want to achieve now you're back? Premier League, simple, I think. Anybody that's at the club knows how big of a club. It's a Premier League club that's in the Championship. And I don't want to be in the Championship for long. I'm sure the club, they want to be in the Championship for long. And 
the club don't deserve to be in the Championship for long. Like I said, we missed it out narrowly last season, but we're a year more experienced in the Championship. But that use that as a positive and keep that hunger and determination to get out of the league. And I think that's what we have to do as a group of players all the way up to the top of the building. From what you've seen in your first few days here, from what you've seen of the manager, the players, the setup, are you confident the club can achieve that? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, it's a Premier League club. Everybody knows that. I think the respect that he's got in the Championship shows that. I'm sure West Brom's expected to win every game. Hypothetically, you can't. The league's hard. I've been here three years. I know it's a tough league, but I've also been against West Brom and at Brentford. You respect West Brom because it's West Brom. Everybody wants to beat the best teams in the league, so every game this season for us will be teams trying to beat us, and we've got to rise to the occasion of that. It's pressure, yeah, but it's positive pressure. You'd prefer to have people wanting to beat you than you being the underdog.